Merhaba from Istanbul. We're Madison and Ivan, and today we are going to shop until we drop. We are here at the Grand Bazaar right now. It is the oldest and largest shopping mall, essentially, in the world. I just love that the Grand Bazaar is indoors. You get to escape the heat for, for a bit. We're starting at the Grand Bazaar, but we're also gonna go to the Spice Market or Egyptian Bazaar and a bazaar that was recommended to us by our tour guide that's where the locals go. And we're here with a shopping list. Today we're gonna be looking for soap, we're gonna be looking for like a scarf and a head covering, yummy food and charcuterie, and they are known for their knockoff market here, so we might look a little bit at fun knockoffs, whether it's North Face Gucci, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. We'll see, we'll see what they have, this is insane. Already I'm seeing the most beautiful lanterns, the most beautiful rugs, it's just amazing. It's it's gonna be a great day. Grand Bazaar is huge. You get lost in this place, and if you love shopping, boy, are you in for a delight. They're for every single type of thing, there are like hundreds, if not thousands, of places to choose from. You want lamps? There's like just in sight six different lamp shops. <laughs> you want rugs? 11 of them. <laughs> you do all your souvenir shopping here, handbags, designer shirts, watches, antiques, they got it all. desperate need of a headscarf, shoulder scarf, from we're going to mosques and going to different places where I need to look a little more conservative. And this one is a faulty product because it has these stains on it and stuff. Uh, but because of that, it's on sale and I really don't think I mind stains. I mean, is this cute? <laughs> will match really well too, it'll be super fun. It kind of has all of the main colors. I can't believe they found this, this is so cute. And since it is, uh, is a faulty product, it's gonna cost us 15 lira, which is around 70 cents. Honestly, probably could negotiate it more, maybe you're supposed to negotiate it more, but 70 cents, this feels really nice. I'm so excited. Look at these crazy shoes. That's the style. <laughs> Do you know who these people are? Ivan and I love visiting local markets when we travel, but we didn't realize just how touristy this one would be. There's still hints of its history, like when you find a shop actually making jewelry or when you visit the antique section, but there are a lot of shops that are just selling the exact same thing. And the shops inside of the market cost a lot more than the shops just outside the market, like where I found my scarf. It's one of those places that you have to visit at least once when you're in the city because of the size and history, and the people there are a lot of fun. But one thing you absolutely must do in the Grand Bazaar is check out a rug shop. We found ourselves in Nizam's Rugs, which has such a fun selection that it actually felt like you were in a museum of high quality rugs. There were so many beautiful things in the Grand Bazaar from the lanterns to the rugs, but honestly, everything there was so expensive. We did at least mark one thing off of our list just outside of the Grand Bazaar, the headscarf, but now we are here in the next market, Mahmoud Pasha Sharshah Si. Uh, we're gonna link that in the description. This is where our tour guide recommended we go. She said this is where the locals go to get their replica goods. Here they do seem to have such a crazy variety. Some really cute designer dresses and jackets. So we're gonna see what they have, maybe find some gifts for people. Let's see. Nothing caught our eye here for today, but if you are in the market for replicas, this is definitely a great place to get them at a much better price. We knew this next market was going to be super authentic when we saw this extremely rare Turkish restaurant was part of it. Wow. 
That local bazaar was really cool too. There were lots of knockoffs and the prices definitely were more reasonable. We heard some quotes going down and like, they were going down. Like they were definitely better than the prices of the Grand Bazaar. We're not big shoppers, honestly, until you get to a bazaar like this. This is what Ivan and I have been waiting for. We are so excited. The Spice Bazaar, the Spice Market, also called the Egyptian Bazaar because it was actually built with the money from the Ottoman Empire in Egypt back in the day. This place was built in 1664. A super old. It's gonna be full of so many delicious spices and teas and sweets and I cannot wait. This is where we're going to be doing some of our grocery shopping for the week, hoping to find some charcuteries elements because that's a big part of Turkish breakfast here. Olives, some meat, some cheese. I'm just super excited. I've also heard that they have lots of shops that give you samples. So we are stoked for that. This is our kind of shopping. Let's go. Only a few steps into the market, we were halted by the most magical offering, free baklava samples. Mmm, very good. Since 1871. Wow. Oh wow, that's so good. <laughs> Buttery. Mm -hmm. The best in the world. And I know it sounds crazy, but it actually might be. It is definitely the best baklava we have ever had. Their tea, perfume, spices, and people were all quite amazing too. For YouTube? YouTube, YouTube. yes. Really? Yeah. Wait, I <laughs> need a zoom. Can I say something? Come visit us in Istanbul. Best city, best food. I agree. Baklava was not on our shopping list, but we bought four because it is outrageously delicious. They were around a dollar a piece, which seems quite expensive, but for baklava this good, we'll probably get it again before we leave Istanbul. Hi, I need money. <laughs> I said, hello, I need money. <laughs> That's a Me good too. one. <laughs> hello, try. Can I offer some to eat? Oh, wow. Which one is best? This is the, my favorite. This one's the best? Yeah. Okay, shake with Lar. Oh, speak Turkish. Just okay, shake Lar. This is like Costco, but even better. Checked another one off the list. We have organic soap. And this one is donkey's milk. The marketing pitch on this one is that it is anti-aging. It smells very good too. And, and this one was the most economical of the choices that we had. This one was 35 Turkish lira, which is less than $2. Despite the many delicious samples we've had, we need a real meal before we keep shopping. Luckily, there is an award-winning restaurant in the Spice Bazaar. And no, it's not Burger King. Just upstairs is a historic restaurant with a legendary list of former diners. Kings, queens, presidents, Sean Connery. And now, Mad Venture. First we have the wood-fired oh, spicy so spring tender. chicken. Oh, that's good. Really good seasoning on top. And that a hard sear on the outside. Simple, clean, just good ingredients, good flavor. I got a meal fit for a sultan. It's called the sultan something on the menu, I can't remember, but this is a lamb stew with an eggplant, buttery mash on the bottom. Looks absolutely delicious. Oh wow. The lamb is so soft and tender, fall apart in your mouth. And when you combine like the tender, tender lamb, the little bit of the puree and, and get the sauce on it as well. It's just like such a perfect, creamy, well-seasoned, delicious combination. Highly recommend. Mm. Oh, this looks so delicious. Eater recommended the cherry bread with clotted cream on the top and I couldn't pass it up. So moist. Mm. That's good stuff. Americans disrespect cherry. We're always putting just too much sugar in there, making it too artificially sweet. Cherries are a delicious fruit. This is honoring that with like a tart 
juicy cherry juice that the bread is soaked in. A little bit tart, a little bit sour, a lot but delicious. And the creaminess to boot, mm, you can't beat it. This place, Kankuratan, Kankurtarangida, is one of the shops I am the most excited to go to. Olive today, really. Olive today, haha. <laughs> they sell olives. They sell some of the best pastrami in all of Istanbul. This sheep's cheese that's aged in sheep skin that I've heard is amazing. Eater recommends this place as one of the top shops in all of Istanbul. And I am so excited to taste all of the offerings and hopefully get some grocery shopping done. This is already probably my favorite market I have ever been to in my life. There's more samples here than there are at Costco. This place is incredible. And I, I have a feeling this is just gonna be the, the icing on the cake, the pastrami on the bread. Yeah, it's absolutely delicious. It's a beef pastrami, with tomatoes and garlic, all sorts of spices. So delicious and flavorful. Mm. It melts in your mouth, and the aged process. You can there's a bit of bit of funk, but the good funk, right? The funk you want from a quality cheese. Eight wow. months aged in the goat skin. Of course, we're buying those two, and also Kaimak, the delicious clotted cream we tried with breakfast in last week's video. Yeah, this is where we spend all of our money. Oh my gosh. Let's not too close. We're here right outside the spice market at Kruk Aveci Mehmet Avendi. I tried so hard to remember that for you. But they are running a super tight ship here. People just flowing like three a second, it feels like. But we have managed to get ourselves a bag of Turkish coffee. I'm gonna learn how to make this when we get back to our Airbnb. It's gonna be a fun adventure. Usually I make coffee in the morning with an AeroPress. This is gonna be a little different. I'm excited to try it out because I know I love Turkish coffee everywhere we've tried it so far. So we'll see if I can deliver just as well. This has been such a fun and eventful shopping day, and we checked several things off of our list from this morning. So we're gonna be looking for like a scarf and a head covering, yummy food and charcuterie, and they are known for their knockoff market here. And coffee. That finishes up off our, our shopping list for the day. Of course, as, as we suspected, we spent most of our time and money at the spice market. It is to be expected. We are foodies and these are all things that we know we will enjoy and use right away, so it doesn't get much better than that. Spending a day experiencing the culture, food, and people in this city through shopping in its historic bazaars was truly unimaginably fun. What an insane, colorful, delicious, sensory overloaded mad adventure. So thank you so much for joining us. There's many more mad adventures to come in Istanbul, so please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, join us on the next one, and until then, live your own mad adventure.